This is Natalie with PayHOA. Today we are introducing our voting module and this lives in the other tools on the left side nav under voting. So to access this, admins are going to go to other tools voting. Once you click on the voting module, it is going to bring up your open and in progress ballots that you have created. So you will be able to see these on a grid view and also on a list view. So if you click on the list, it is going to switch over to this is the list view and this is the grid view. So the, you've got your pretty statuses completed in progress. You can see how many people responded, your start time end date. So it's really just a preview of your, your open ballots. You can also drop down and go by in progress, completed in drafts, and we'll get to that in just a moment. But first I want to talk about the settings for your votes. You can set up a settings template when you open up your voting module. Just click add new ballot voting settings template. And this is going to allow you to select your basic settings. Now you can do this on each and every ballot that you set up. But if you think you're going to have a customized settings that you would prefer, you can go ahead and get this set up first. So if you want to just do online only, select online only. This is going to email your owners the vote, a link to vote, and then they go into their profiles to vote. Online and paper. Now this is obviously online. Paper, we're not set up to actually have owners mail their ballots back to us or back to you. It's actually going to mail out a paper QR code that the owner grabs their phone and they scan that QR code and then they vote electronically. So it's not set up for them to mail paper ballots back. It is just mail, you're technically mailing them a paper ballot. They're voting with their phone with a QR code. Once you scroll down a little bit more, you've got additional settings. Um, you can turn on weighted voting. So essentially, let's say you have townhomes and they need to be 50% of your voting. You can turn on different weighting, weighted voting. So it allows votes to be weighted based on factors like ownership size or unit count. You also have quorum voting. So if you scroll over the eye a little bit for more information, the minimum number of voters needed for the vote to be valid. So if you reach 70% of your quorum, you can say that voting is valid and I'll show you more on that in just a moment. But here's your, your options on the quorum, 50%, 60, 67, and 75%. And you also have anonymous voting as well. So if you want to turn on anonymous voting, it will say that that person voted for a specific answer, but it's not going to say their name in the response. So once you get these set up, make sure you put a template name in here and just hit save. Now, again, you can do this each time you set up a new vote, but if you think you're going to do custom settings each time, go ahead and set that template up. You also have weighted voting categories. So on the weighted, voted, weighted voting categories that I mentioned a moment ago, a great example is that townhomes only get a 50% vote weight and two units. You can customize this. So you can select units and you can also use tags to set up this weighted voting. And you can put in the percentage of the vote weight. Now let's go ahead and get back to the templates, excuse me, the vote page here. So let's go ahead and just start a new ballot. And we're gonna walk through the process of creating a new ballot. And we're just gonna use a test example, 2026 board elections. Now you can put a description in, it is optional. And notice how the screen saves you when you type. So if you come back and you lose it, it is, it should save. Go ahead and type out your question types or your, go ahead and type out your questions. You can say president and your types are going to be yes, no, multiple choice. So you can choose more than one answer. You can just choose one. Your owners can choose picture choices. There's also ranking, which we're pretty excited about. So you can rank each each question, you know, A, B, C, D, or one, two, three, four. Text is going to be, if you type out president, it's actually going to just let the owner type out their answer in the text field. And then the last option in here, we've got last two options. We've got amount. And we've also got file upload. So let's go ahead and put a couple different other options real quick just to get some samples in here. Let's do 
vice president, and we'll just do some fake names here. And let's trash that one. Okay, once we get our questions in there, let's go ahead and hit continue. Now, I did type in this twice here. So let's say, oh, well, I've got two presidents. Let's go back and let's dump that president one because I accidentally entered that twice. Now we're, we're walking through these steps here. The preview, it's just going to preview before you actually save this as a draft or send it to your owner so you can see what questions you've got typed out. And go ahead and hit continue and you're going to get to the settings module that we already walked through. Again, you can do this on each one, but let's just say online only and hit continue. And then you're going to be able to send this to everybody in the HOA or specific users. So this is where you set your recipients. You can filter by unit tags here. You can filter by owner tags as well. You can select specific members and you can take members off as well. So we'll go ahead and once you've got your folks, you're gonna select the ballot to just hit continue. And you're essentially getting a, a review before you save and send this. It's really just a recap of your, your title, your description, your questions that you're sending out, your, your voting type. So we did online only and we also got your start and end date as well and i do want to point out that your start and end date if you jump to change it maybe i realized that i skipped over this section i don't want to do 10 13 let's go ahead and extend that to november 1st and the end time should be the the time zone that your settings are in under the org settings and we're just going to choose 12 o'clock and let's go ahead and hit continue and let's save this ballot and get it sent out to the owners. Recap everything, your recipients, total recipients, we're sending it to the entire HOA, but one, so we've got eight units and we're gonna go ahead and send invites and start voting. So let's say yes, let's go ahead and create this ballot and your new ballot will be live under other tools and voting. You get your voting details as well once you get this created. So it's going to move to in progress. And you also have, once folks start responding to your voting module, you've got your response rate. So this will jump up. And let's kind of go to one that has received responses real quick in here. You're going to see your minimum quorum voters so you can see you've got you've got to reach 67 percent and if it's met yet so not yet you can also see the top answer you can see re your response rate so you can see everybody's responses here if you click responses if it's anonymous it is going to say you know who voted but not their name and then the questions as well you can download a PDF report of this. So it's it's like it opens up in another tab and then you can download and share that, you know, at your meeting or under the shared docs. Or you can also hit share results and select the units to share the results with. Once you hit view more details in the top here, you're gonna see that the timeline of the voting, you can see that it was created, it was edited, and then it was finished on a specific date. Um, you can see the settings and the recipients. That is our voting module within PayHOA. Please note that it will be marked as complete once your end date comes across. I hope that you all enjoy the new voting module within the system. We are super excited to release this. Thank you and have a great day. Yay.